there's a little bit of math that you're going to need to know for this course. And the math that you really need to concentrate on is calculus. Okay, you need to know how to do derivatives, you need to know how to do integrals. So let's just review a couple things. Let's say I have the derivative of a function, and we'll start with something very straightforward. x squared. What is the derivative of x squared? 2x. I pull down the exponent, I subtract 1 from the remaining exponent. If I have this, what is the derivative of 5x to the fourth? Anyone? What is it? 20x cubed. I pull down the 4, multiply by the 5, I get 20. I subtract 1 from the exponent, I get that. All right, that's not too bad. What about derivative of sine x? What's the derivative of sine x? Cosine, Cosine x. What about the derivative of the sine of 5x to the 4? Cosine of 5x to the fourth, 20x cubed. That's right. You use the chain rule. Okay? You take a derivative of the whole thing, which is sine becomes a cosine. But then you have to take the derivative of the stuff inside, right? And the derivative of the stuff inside is 20x cubed. Question? Are we not going to worry about families and plus c or any of that when we do the integrals and everything else? Yeah, so the question was, should we be worried about constants and things like that? Mm -hmm. Yes, much more so in integration, of course, right? Let's talk about integration. Let's say I do an integral of x squared dx. What's the integral of x squared dx? x cubed, x cubed, over, three. X cubed over 3. But, to be technically correct, we have to add some constant of integration. Okay? And when we get to the kinematic equations, we're going to see that those constants become initial values. Okay? So initial positions, initial velocities, things like that. All right, but this thing, integral of x squared dx, that is also an area under the curve. So, for instance, if we do the integral of x squared dx and we go from 0 to 2, what do I get? I get x cubed over 3 evaluated from 0 to 2, which is 2 cubed over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3. 2 cubed is 8, 0 cubed is still 0, and so I get 8 thirds for that value. But we also said this is the area under the curve. So if I plot out my function, which we said was x squared, as a function of x, you know what x squared looks like. It looks like that. And if I plot this from 0 to 2, what we just calculated is this area right here. Okay? If it's a straight line, it's pretty easy to calculate it. But for parabolic trajectories like this, it's a little complicated to calculate it graphically, and so that's why we rely on calculus to tell us the answer. The area here is equal to 8 thirds in the appropriate units.